What's the crack, lads? We are back with another training guide, as we do here on the channel. And we're going to switch it up a little bit now with the end season MVPs. A lot of people ask me about these. So who are we going to cover in this series of reviews and training guides, right? Well, we are going to cover Silva. We're also going to cover Nuno Mendes, who I think is probably the player of the, the pick of the players here. We're also going to cover this guy, Casero, uh, Pedro, and the four of them. And then I think we might as well have Guler up there as well as Hatata. If you guys want more, let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see next. But we are going to start with Manchester City's Bernardo Silva. This guy is a very intriguing player, right? But I will say that he is kind of like an early game uh, attacking midfielder, right? He's a creative playmaker, which puts him in line with a couple of other players on you know that kind of position that you're going to have so that is something to keep in mind if you are thinking of playing this guy he doesn't play like a whole player he plays slightly different um so you know he's a bit slower paced think like Messi think De Bruyne um kind of Odegaard that type of role if you are thinking of it you know he doesn't have blister and pace kind of like other players in that position right but what he does have is extremely good dribbling extremely good player skills and excellent combination of the boat right the boat of those with unwavering form he is on c rating expect that expect that to change with city's dominance in the premier league and across europe with the live data update form so yeah we do have two versions of him here obviously we're going to take a look at them he goes to 26 levels as a creative playmaker, he's going to be able to cover a lot of ground attacking the ball. Defensively, he's not really going to come, you know, anywhere near getting the ball back for you. Um, there are a couple of players like Pedri and players like that, you know, Verratti, that are able to win the ball back, even if you don't train up their defensive side of the game. But I definitely think that Bernardo Silva is, you know, best position is in that attacking midfielder role, in that position that you can just dictate everything and do things with a more measured approach, right? So we are going to go over to eFootballDB and show you two quick versions of him. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is he's already maxed out here at 94 overall. He does go higher than this if you train him up in a, in a different way. But I genuinely think this is a very good version of him, right? We've pumped in 9 into shooting, 12 into passing, 5 into dribbling, 4 into dexterity, and 1 into lower body, right? The reason why we've done this is that if you are playing an attacking midfielder, the game at the moment doesn't really reward shooting, but what it does reward is having curl as a very high stat, right? And a lot of players sleep on this because they'll get a attacking midfielder, they won't do anything with his shooting, and they'll just pump up the rest into his dexterity and his dribbling and, you know, have a dribbling stat that's like 94, 95. I think that's probably overkill if you are playing an attacking midfielder. Because when you are playing an attacking midfielder, and especially a creative playmaker that we see here, okay, with these player skills that's what you're going to be more dependent on than his actual stats so all you need to be doing with his stats is making them very kind of similar across the board okay and then also having a bit of like excellent with this card excellence with this card that if you are playing the game for a while now chances are you're going to have a couple of really really top class attacking midfielders or center midfielders that can play that role linking the defense and the the attack right so if you are going to be playing Bernardo Silva, you have to really highlight what makes him tick, what makes him good. And it is his acceleration, his balance, and his dribbling and passing, right? So we've got an 88 with the passing. That's probably a little bit overkill. The reason I've gone with that is because if you get a form arrow, these two, these two stats, all of these stats, if you get your form arrows lined up, all of these stats that we're seeing here are going to be over 90, okay? Including the balance as well. That's going to be over 90 as well. We'll get the boost to that, okay? So that's why I've kind of capped it at 88. If you are very comfortable with the passing and all that, and you do stick on a couple of additional skills on this guy, right? Obviously, the big omission here that you're going to be looking at from him is that he doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a killer on this card, right? So you have to train that into him or else you have to upgrade his low pass. And if you are playing him as an attacking midfielder, it needs to be in the 90 range. I would probably only be playing Bernardo Silva when he's up on form arrow. That's genuinely how I would kind of play him. So I'd probably sit on this card for a week, um, unless you're going to play him in, in the other formation or the other position that we're going to show you here. So the next option we have is a traditional winger, right? So he goes to a 95 overall as a right wing. Um, I think this is probably the best version of him because as I said, if you don't have an attacking midfielder, right? If you don't have an attacking midfielder that's better than Bernardo Silva, 
He's a beast, man. He is a beast. But we'll show you an alternative as well in Goulart, who's a three-star. I would definitely make Goulart my attacking midfielder with the passing and the dribbling because of his player skills compared to Silva. I would use Silva as my top-class winger. Look at these stats. And again, we've got the same thing here that we can um, do, which I'm going to show you, right? So just to kind of like for anyone new coming to the game, okay? When a player, this form here, and anyone that's, you know, used to watching the videos and has played the game a lot will know this. That form dictates what form arrow the player is going to have. The better the form arrow, the better the stat upgrade, right? So you get plus two or plus three on multiple stats when the form arrow is up in the blue. Um, and then, you know, and so on and so on. If it's in the, the, the different colors, obviously dictate what kind of form that they are going to be on. If it's, if it's orange or red, it's going to be having negative. It's going to be a decrease on the stats. Anything else apart from yellow uh, or orange is going to be uh, just a normal. He's not changed his stats. And then obviously you've got green and this blue color uh, here. That's going to give you the boost, right? So even with this card here, look at this card without even depending on the form. 93 offensive awareness, 92 ball control, 91 dribbling, 92 tight possession, 90 acceleration, 98 balance, and 90 stamina. Like, that is an insane winger, lads. An insane winger that you're going to be able to bring on, right? He's also got early cross, okay? He's got pinpoint crossing, and he's got outside curler, right? With cut behind and turn, and he's also got low lofted pass. So I think this could be one of the best crossing wingers that we've seen yet, and that would be the reason why I'd buy him. If you're playing as a right winger with a left-footed player, you will be able to race down the byline, cut back, and then cross in swinging instead of out swinging with the left foot. So yeah, and again, you could actually kind of like alternate this a fraction as well because of those stats, right? You could take one or two away from these here and then depend on the form boost if you wanted to do that and get 80 passing if you wanted to go that route. Because when you get the form arrow, dribbling, is going to go over 90 and then the rest of the stats that you have here are going to be over 90 as well so that is just another option i would take if you're looking for a winger so there's the winger there's the amf